probably, but I'll see. I hope it's not too distracting or disturbing to you. Uh, I don't want to cut my feet on it either. It'll be a little sharp. So let's begin for the next 45 minutes. And I will stand, I hope I'm not completely cutting my head off. I'm trying to be somewhat on it, so I'm not likely to slice my feet. So we'll stand with the feet hips width apart for a moment. And let's just take a nice inhale as we sweep the arms up to the heavens. And then exhale is pressing down, you can bend the knees slightly. Inhales will lift, exhales will press out. And then reverse breath, inhale, navel comes to the spine as the arms and hands come up. Exhale down. So maybe I'll step back just a wee bit for this. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, pressing down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, press down. Inhale in, but navel to spine, reverse breath. Axles lower. Inhales, we sweep up. Axles, we press down. Focusing on breath, focusing on her eye. Inhales, we lift, belly expand. Axles, we press out. Belly contracts. Now keep the belly contracted as you draw in on the inhale. Axles, relax the arms down to the side. Inhales, we sweep up. Axles we press down. Inhale to lift. Axles we press out. And inhales coming back in, navel to spine, reverse breath. On the arms. Now let's do a couple more sets. Inhales we sweep up. Axles we press down. Inhale to lift. Axles we press out. And inhales, we draw in. Arms come down to the side. Last set. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, pressing down. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, pressing down. Inhale, drawing in. Arms to the side. So now just begin to stir the soup. So you can choose your direction. Arms can stay at the side. You can bring hands to the hips if you like. But you're circling around and around. Deep, natural belly breath, whatever that is for you. And with all of these practices, you're just allowing yourself to be as present as you can be each moment and being aware of what, of what might present itself without creating a story, allowing it to surface. If anything, maybe all you sense is calmness, peacefulness. Last one, back to neutral, go the other way now, your other way. Natural, deep belly breath. Stirring the soup. Remember, if you don't like the hands on the hips, then you can have the arms at the side. If you don't like the arms at the side, bring the hands to the hips. Two more. Coming back to neutral. Let's inhale and sweep back up to the heavens. Let's come down and cross right hand over left. Interlace is open. Let's do this today again. So stretch and open. Just coming back through. Finding your own natural movement. Deep belly breath. Holding field of energy. And last, come back through and switch left over right, draw through, open and stretch.
two more. Finishing the next time you come back through, we'll open the arms out to the sides, just stretching out for a moment, let the palms face the heavens. Belly breath. Inhales, lifting the arms overhead, pressing downwards. Just make a nice back and hands together and then opening out to the side. We'll lift again up to the heavens, backs of the hands together as you pierce the earth. A little fire element. Think of the flame. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah. Two more. This time, lifting back up, arms at the sides, come in and hug the tree as you bend the knees. Inhales and open, let the arms go down to the side. Lift, hug the tree, hold it now, and just take the head around whatever direction you want to begin with. Opening the head. Back to neutral. Go the other way. Deep belly breath. Excellent. Back to neutral. Inhales and lift the arms overhead. Stretching up to the heavens. Exhales, come down to your left. I'm not nearing you, so I'm going my left. You go your left. Sending the hips to the right. Deep belly breath. Inhaling up, coming down now to your right, sending the hips to the left. Inhaling up, Next is coming down to your left again. Now settle in and then reach, 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 reach out. Inhaling up. X is coming down to your right, settle in, reach out, feel the stretch. Inhaling up, let the arms float out and down to the side, look across in front to lift, part the clouds, come down and lift, part the clouds, and one more, part the Excellent. And then let's just work with the feet. Everybody shift into the left leg, bend the standing leg a little bit, take the right leg forward, and circle around nine times with the foot one way, and then nine times the other way. Support yourself if you need some help with balance. Deep belly breath. And flex, extend nine times. And kick nine times. And press down to the top of the foot. Just feel the stretch in the shin and the top of the foot itself. Deep belly breath. Come up to standing and switch. Right leg becomes the standing leg. Extend the left, finding your balance, circling around. It's nine times each way. Flexing, extending nine times. Seat nine times. Pressing to the top of the foot when you are ready. Bending the standing leg to help you. Excellent, coming back up to neutral. Now we'll just lift that right leg and open out to the sides, come back in, lift out, around, and in. We'll do that five times. Findings. Oh, maybe I just did six. Hold it in front, go backwards, around, and then. So five, well, let's say six now, since I have a feeling I did six. 
But if you were keeping track, it's like five and five. Coming back, lowering the switch, go to the other leg, out, around, and in. Six times. And opening, slide, still go. And you come back to neutral, now go backwards. And two, three, four, five. And six, I just stepping on that little bit of raised portion here on this pad. Come back to neutral, knee, belly, back. What do you go around? Inhales, lift the arms over, heads again. All of them up there, begin to open and close the hands. So I like to do this, just doing it in a different order today. But let's strengthen the hands and the forearm, and create a little heat, a little warmth in those arms themselves. Deep belly breath. Excellent. You can begin to slow it. And we'll let the hands and arms go down nice and slow. And then we'll keep the head upright today. Take an inhale, and on the inhale, turn the head to the left. Roll the air in. And exhale back to center, navel to spine, hold the air out. Inhale to right. Belly expands, hold the air. Excellent center, navel to spine. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Inhale, drive. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Inhale, drive. Exhale, center. One more set. Inhale to left. Exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, center. Excellent. And our final movement before we move on is to just lift the arms up and begin to bounce. So a little bouncing action, like the mere cat, very gone. The heat, belly breath. Bouncing along. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. What are you aware of now? It's happening now. So for those of you in the prior class, there's an excellent way for you to think about some of the qualities we were discussing right here in this practice. Do you feel free? Do you feel unencumbered? Do you feel as if you don't have a roadmap? There are no rules. There's no discipline. There's just being this little bouncy thing. However that is. Notice how you feel, just what you might be aware of as a result. Think about this as an action that yields an effect. And an effect arises from an action. Yeah. 
E belly rub. Bouncing along. What are you holding on to? You might be able to let go of to be more free, more awake, more expansive. Let's begin to slow the step. Just allow yourself to slow your bounce if you like. You don't have to make you want to keep going full board. Okay, this is your choice. Listen to yourself. And then we'll come to an end. And we'll just stand for a moment, being aware of whatever sensations present themselves. Whatever thoughts arise, whatever sense of awakening. Think about it in terms of physical, mental, emotional, spiritual planes of existence. are ready, you can step the feet together and maybe the arms won't come to the side, maybe they don't. So mine are very energized at the moment. So from here, let's take a nice big breath. We'll step out of the left foot, hip shoulder widths apart, inhale as we lift the arms up to the heavens. You can interlace the fingers as they come on our chest level, pressing up. Two palms pressing heavens, exhales lowering down to the side. And the knees slightly. Inhales as we lift again, interlacing right around the belly, chest area, pressing up. Exhale, slowing down. It is fine to look up if you like. I'm just going to step back a little bit. Inhales as we lift. Exhale, we press. Now we've entered into the first of the brocades. You can think of a brocade as beautiful embroidered cloth. And so we're weaving our own tapestry to awaken the healthy flow of energies and way of being a harmonious balance with being inside. Inside yourself. Realizing your own dharma. Inhaling as you lift. Exhale as you look. Flowing the field of energy. The cadence can be changed depending upon where you are. Slow it down, make it a little faster. excellent way to work with it is to allow the breath to 
เขาได้Oh, we can step the feet back into knee. We'll lift the arms up about chest face level, gently pressing down. Imagine maybe resting on a surface in front of us, or even just relaxing to the side. Feeling the imprints. Now, our next posture will be heaven and earth palm. So we will once again step the feet out, the left foot out, maybe, maybe you want to go the right, the other way, who knows? But hip shoulder widths. Take an inhale and begin to lift the arms. So they're both coming up, right? But the left on the exhale will press down and the right will press up. Feel free to look up if you like. Inhale and much as if you were a little puppet with strings on your arm. On the exhale, left pressing up, right pressing down, the palm facing up and the palm facing down on the respective arm. So feel this lateral nature of this movement as we stretch the stomach and spleen specifically, but we can also think about beneficiaries of the intestines, the heart, and the lungs. Deep belly breath. Really stretch, let yourself just open up. Inhales as you return to your neutral, exhales as you press apart. Deep <laughs> belly breath. What are you aware of now? Oh, you can feel the benefit. So we're enjoying a little greater number this evening with each of these. So you might notice how you are responding physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, one more. Lowering down with the left hand. Once again, we'll raise the arms up as we step in to knee feet together, gently lowering to that imaginary surface or just relaxing arms to the side. Ending the second brocade. Now, our next one, we want to take a very wide step out to the side. So I like to adjust both my feet. <laughs> And then let's just rock a little side to side. This will help work into the inner groin, help to awaken the flow on the inner channels. So we will draw the bow to allow the golden arrow to fly. One way of characterizing the name of the posture. And we'll come back to neutral. So straighten the legs, bring the arms up in front. Now I like to cross in front. We'll lift up about face level. Then we're going to sit back down. Now take the left arm out, index finger pointing to the sky. So the left arm comes out to the left, index finger to the sky. And with the right hand, pull the bow string back, looking over the left index. And then reach out to the right, shifting to the right leg with the right arm, come back through, cross, straightening the legs, sitting back down, 
right arm comes out, index finger to sky, pull the bow straight back. Reaching out left, shifting away the left leg, coming through. Rossi boots. That's very nice. Sitting down, pulling back with the bow string. Reaching right, coming through. Rossi boots. Sitting down, right arm out. Left draws back. Reaching out left. And continue with that form. Flowing, breathing, being. So I want to do at least nine sets. So 18 movements. Continuous flow, except for the little pause. Okay. Letting yourself open, stretch, and feed. Alternating sides. So the benefit of this is very good for our heart, and our lungs, and our eyes, our liver, the blood. There's many benefits, but there's just some of the few big ones. So I'm on probably maybe I'm going to count it as set six, three to go. My seventh one. So here again, you find a cadence that works for you. This is my last one. Coming up. And on that. Left side, so maybe you finish on the right, coming back through, crossing, lifting, and lowering arms to the side, totally healing it in, or just stepping in if you prefer. Letting the arms come down, feet together, unless you want to say it's right. Lift, down, and passing, signifying the end of the third rotate. I will step the left foot out, hip shoulder widths, toes pointing straight ahead, arms to the side. Let's slightly bend the knees. And you can have the palms just facing inwards a bit. Taking inhales, and then we'll straighten the legs as we twist the arms open, looking over a shoulder. I'm going to go left shoulder, so you can choose which one you want to. Axis turning back in, bending the knees, the palms turn to face in. So imagine you're rolling the shoulders open as you inhale, and you turn, exhale, twist. Inhale to return. Exhale as we lift and roll open, looking over. In my case, left shoulder. Inhale to return. So here you can think of this as the wise owl of its head. Deep belly breath. This is opening up the heart, the lung. It's working into the clavicle, the shoulders, throats. Deep belly breath. Notice where you may feel the most significant impact. What is happening now? 
stepping the feet in to me, lifting the arms once again, and gently pressing down to signify the end of the fourth brocade. The top street slowly coming together. We'll step back out with the left foot and then the right, and we're going to come back into a really wide stance. And so just, again, go back and forth if it feels good to you. I tend to like this, just to stretch channels a little more. And we'll come back to neutral. So have you bring your hands to the thighs, just above the knees, and sit down nice and low. So the knees should be roughly over the ankles, toes pointing 30 degrees out. The spine is long. And the idea here is to keep the legs stationary as much as you can. Take an inhale, lengthen to the crown on the exhale. We're going to take the left shoulder. So we'll hinge at the hips, take the left shoulder towards the right knee, and then lengthen to the crown of the head as you twist around, the right shoulder coming towards the left knee. And let's look up today first. Look up, then lift your torso up. Inhale, and on the exhale now, hinging from the hips, right shoulder coming towards the left knee. Lengthening to the crown of the head, looking up as we get to the other side, then lifting the left shoulder over towards the right knee and lifting towards the right. And when you're ready, continue that flow. Left shoulder towards right knee, lengthen the left. Come across, starting to reach the towards either looking up and then lifting. And coming down, right shoulder towards the left knee, across, looking up. And so that's what, two sets maybe? Maybe two, but let's do nine. You get extras in there, if you're doing them faster, that's also fine. But just try to twist from the root through the thoracic spine and cervical. Letting yourself come across, then look up before you lift. And this is known as to wag the head and the tail, palm on fire, or simply wagging head and tail. Continue to flow at your own pace. Letting the full revolution unwind fullness of the experience. However, that presents itself to you. Down seven, I'm going to work on eight. And again, don't worry if you feel like he's not keeping the track. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy the experience. You can always stop if you feel like you've done too many. Each in here for me, coming back, stepping in, and sweeping the arms back up, gently coming down, clearing some space, resting on an imaginary table our arms to the side. 
Now the next movement will step out to the left, hip shoulder width, and we'll begin with the hands on the kidneys on the back. And we'll slowly let them flow down the back of the legs, over the tops of the feet, inhaling up from the ankles, through the inner channels, the groin, up the sides of the chest, reaching for the heavens. And then from the heavens, draw down some essence, some cheese, some life force, back to the kidneys, up we can. So this is an easy one. Two hands climb the ladder, or two hands reaching for the heavens, climb down some essence, some yang, pure energy, and depositing it into the kidneys. Exhale, slowly down the back. And over the feet, up the inner channels, through the groin, up the sides, reaching up. Got it. Exhale, go down. Back to the kidneys. Inhales. Exhales down the back. So like the bladder channel, right? Over the tops of the feet, up the inner channels, to the leg, the spleen, up the side. Um, I can couple more kidneys over. Oh. Here again, tuning in to what is happening now. What are you aware of? Knee, belly breath. Exhale, begin the breath down. You'll do one more. Reaching up. Gather as you draw down. And to the kidneys. Axe relax to the side as you step the left foot in to meet the right. Arms drift up and down, signifying the end of the sixth rotate. And then we'll once again step out, maybe a little wider stance this time, and we'll bring the arms to the side, making gentle fists. So we're going to keep our big eyes punching. Now, you can decide to keep the legs bent for the duration. You may want to straighten the legs to begin with. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, sit down into the chair and punch right. Big, bold eyes. Looking forward slowly if there's a sense of resistance here. Inhale as we draw back, straightening the legs, unless you keep the legs bent. Exhale, punching left. Slowly, slowly extending. Inhaling down. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale. Now, you can also add sound here if you like. It's like Exhale. Inhale, so you want to growl. Exhale. Just notice what is happening now. What's the vibration like? You can make a deep belly breath. This is very nice to support the liver and again the blood or the eyes. To help balance emotions. 
So it has some relevance to the R. One more set. Turn. Back to the left, the arms stripped out to the side, stepping in, gently pressing back. Feeling the imprint now the seventh throw made. Are you guys punching? And when you are ready, we can set the feet once again, hip shoulder widths apart. And so now we're going to shake the back seven times to eliminate the number of illnesses. So you can hinge from the hips, the knees can slightly bend, and you're just hanging there, dangling in the air. Maybe the hands come to the earth, maybe not. Let's inhale as you lift, lifting everything up, and you'll go into a bit of a back bend, which will be a bend. So head goes back, lift the heels, lower the heels, and just shake. You can begin again at your own pleasure, just hinging. When you're ready, you can get the lift on the inhale. The expansive movement, lowering the head back, as you lift the heels, drawing down and shaking on the exhale. There's two for me, so keep going for an hour minute to get to seven. Inhale and if you lift. Back bending, dropping, lift the heels, bend lower the head and shake. Lifting the heels, pulling and shaking. There's four for me. Notice what is happening now. We know where our lifting the heels. Okay. Exhale. Five, two more. Inhaling. Inhaling as we lift. Rolling the shoulders back and down. Head goes back. Lifting heels. Exhaling and shaking. And last one for me. Inhale as I rise up, pulling the shoulders back and down, and let the head go back, lift the heels and shake. Step the feet in to me, let the hands lift up and gently coming down, signifying the end of the eight rotates. And once again, we'll set the feet hips shoulder widths apart. If you're female gender, bring the left hand to the belly, male right. Rephrase that. Female gender, right hand to belly, male left. Switch it up if you like. The other hand over top. <laughs> so now I started to mirror for you, and I wasn't doing it early. So now just if you're totally confused, don't worry about it. Just put whatever hand over <laughs> feels right to you. Deep belly breath. Your energies will tell you what feels most comfortable. That's why I make the suggestion early on. So we generally know based upon our dominance. Physicality, but again, change it up because we made it both. So deep belly breath. Notice what you are aware of now. For the last 44 minutes, a change for you. Let's take an inhale and shake the belly. Exhale, gather some saliva in your mouth. Swallow it all the way down to the lower knot the tip of the tailbone. You can visualize it flowing downwards as well. And today we'll let the hands drift down, we'll let lift up to the sides about head level, pressing down the midline. Inhale as we lift, exhaling out in front. We might have done this last week, circling around. Inhale Again, exit lowering once again from the sides. We come back in, gently pressing down. 
lifting the arms up in front, pointing index fingers and thumbs together. We extend down in front as we awaken our true consciousness, our heart. We send out peace, calm, goodwill, love, compassion. One another to our community as a whole. Let the hands drift down, we'll set the feet into knee. Today, we'll simply bring the hands to heart center with a gentle bow, acknowledging your practice, continuation of the traditions of the sages and contemplatives and coming forth. Thank you for tuning in. It was a pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, wherever it takes you. Feel free to say goodbye. Feel free to say, send comments, whatever works for you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you all.